Hi, what you see on your screen right now, this is the NVIDIA Shield Pro, this is an AVR surround sound system, and in the back, a fairly typical flat screen television. Welcome to our channel, all about home electronics, where in this video, we're going to show you how to directly connect the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. We're going to show you how to properly connect it to an AVR surround sound system, and we're also going to show you some setting adjustments we're going to make, and we're going to start right after this. Okay, to begin, we rotated the AVR around so that we can take a look at the back panel of the AVR, as well as all of the available HDMI ports. We turned the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro around so we can see the connections on the back of it and the connections on the back of our example TV. Now, the explanation that we're going to go through here is going to work regardless of which model of NVIDIA Shield TV that you happen to have. As we have here, we have the Pro Edition and it shows right on the box that this will output 4K HDR content. In order to view content at that level of resolution, or perhaps greater, we need to make sure that we're using the correct HDMI cabling. HDMI cabling has advanced since the technology came out many years back. Here's what we mean. Here's the HDMI cable that we'll be using. It's labeled Premium High Speed HDMI. You'll want to use a cable that's labeled High Speed HDMI, Premium High Speed HDMI, or Ultra High Speed HDMI. If you're not able to view content at a 4K or greater resolution, it could be because your HDMI cable isn't functioning properly doesn't have the capacity to carry that resolution. Now we've zoomed in a little closer to the six HDMI ports on the back of our AVR. Now this might not be the case with your AVR, but we want to explain the differences in the cap capabilities of each of these ports. Now this first one here is labeled HDMI out. That means that's the connection you'll make going out to your TV We'll demonstrate that in a moment because you do want to connect that properly as well. That leaves us with these five HDMI ports on our example AVR. In order to take advantage of 4K content and perhaps better content, be it 5, 8, etc., you're going to want to plug into an HDMI port which has the capacity for HDCP 2.2 as it's listed here on the back of our example AVR. Now that does not mean that if your AVR doesn't have that capacity you can't plug in. You can, you just won't enjoy that high ultra high definition content resolution. But in our case because we're plugging in the Shield TV Pro and we want the 4K content we're going to plug into one of these ports, one, two, or three. And in our example, we're just going to plug into port number three because we can. And we'll simply take the other end of that HDMI cable. It does not matter which end plugs into which port and plug it into the back of our NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. As I mentioned earlier, and to clarify, if you're using an older NVIDIA Shield TV, it's totally okay to plug it into one of these other ports here, like I'm showing port number five. But again, in this example, we're going to leave it in port number three. And you'll want to remember the port number because when you rotate your AVR around to the front panel, you'll need to set your AVR input as is the example with this AVR, to port 3. Now we zoomed our camera back out so that we can take a look at how we're going to connect our AVR to the back of our television. There's only one output on our AVR. Yours could have more. But we're going to take a second HDMI cable 
Ours happens to be labeled premium high speed and take either end and fully seat it into that port labeled HDMI out. Now we've zoomed into the three available HDMI ports on the back of our available television. They're labeled 1, 2, and 3 with port 1 having an additional label called ARC, Audio Return Channel. Now chances are good if your television has an ARC port that's the most feature capable port and you'd want to plug in there. Reason being you're plugging your television as we are in this example to an AVR which is a sound system and that's specifically what the ARC port is designed to do is transfer audio that comes into your television down to your surround sound system assuming you have the ARC feature properly enabled. But again, we'll take the other end of that HDMI cable, line it up, and make sure it's fully seated in place. And before you rotate your equipment back around, you may want to make sure that you have your NVIDIA Shield TV plugged into an appropriate power source. All right, so we have rotated our AVR around so that we can see the front panel again. And we made certain that we had our television plugged into electrical power, our NVIDIA Shield Pro plugged into electrical power, and our AVR uh, surround sound receiver also plugged into electrical power. As you can tell from our example television in the background, that's already turned on. We'll need to turn on the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro and our AVR system. So we press the power button on the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro and you can see that it's lighting up, it's booting up. And then we'll press the power button on the face of our example AVR and it's also powering up. Now you'll notice in our example AVR screen that it's currently set to HDMI 1 and no change of picture has appeared on our example television. That's because we need to change a few more settings. Stick with us here. Now on the face of our example AVR, we have a button labeled input. You might recall that we, pr we plugged the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro into HDMI port number three. So we simply need to toggle over to HDMI port number three. It's listed as a Roku but that's going to change to the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. You'll notice still no picture from the NVIDIA Shield Pro TV is actually displaying on our example television. So we need to make a couple more setting adjustments. Taking the remote control that came with the TV, we're going to locate a button labeled Input or Source and press it. Now what we want to do is we want to toggle over to HDMI 1 because you may recall that when we connected the AVR to the TV we plugged into port number 1 on the back of the TV and the Shields picture shows up on the TV. But that's not everything. We're still going to recommend you check one more setting. Now, the next setting you'll want to again grab the remote control that comes with the television and locate the menu button and press it. Your settings could be different in your television but follow along with the basic concept. In our example television what we want to do is scroll down to something called input settings and we want to select it. Now the settings that we want to take a look at pertain to HDMI port number one, which is the port that we're currently using. Highlight it and select it. You'll notice in our example TV that the full UHD color feature is turned off. We prefer to have it turned on. So simply toggle to the right and your TV will automatically reset. So now the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro has been properly connected and the settings have been properly set. This concludes this video. 
how to connect an NVIDIA Shield TV Pro to an AVR surround sound system. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you like this video or it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.